Welcome to the first DVD from the Shaolin Temple UK. We will look at the unique Shaolin Sancho fighting technique called the Yi Shi Po Qian Zhao, which means the movement that breaks a thousand movements. As the name suggests, Yi Shi Po Qian Zhao can be used in many different combat situations. There are many such movements in Shaolin Kung Fu. We will learn the one called Pi Tui Xie Xing and how it can be used against the most popular kicks, a defense against any attack, a potentially devastating counterattack. Shaolin Sancho is a full contact fighting art. By truly mastering unique Shaolin Sancho technique, you will possess genuine fighting skill and advantage in actual combat. Sancho gives the students an extreme mental and physical challenge. It is an art that shows all the martial artists' skill, wisdom, cleverness, strength, and willpower at the same time. To reach the highest level of Kung Fu, you have to pass this test of skill and character. If you don't pass the challenge of Sancho, you can never achieve this top level. Sancho and the traditional forms and the method of practice cannot be separated. If you don't practice traditional forms and techniques at the same time, you also cannot reach this high level. In China, the history of Kung Fu reached back more than 5,000 years. Even the Shaolin Temple goes back more than 1,500 years. The accumulation of all this history has led to an incredible depth of Kung Fu knowledge. Traditional forms are where this knowledge is stored. When you practice the form, it lays the foundation of your future sensual skill. With so many techniques available to the students, he must be guided carefully by the good master to choose the best technique to learn. Certain techniques like Yi Shi Po Tian Zhao are of such a high value that they present the pinnacle of Kung Fu knowledge. What is the mean of Yi Shi Po Tian Zhao? The movement we study in this DVD is called Pi Tui Xie Xing. It is one of a number of unique Shaolin Sancho techniques that belong to the category of Yi Shi Po Tian Zhao. Every one of this movement is literally capable of breaking a thousand movements. Originally, the movement of Shaolin Kung Fu were inspired by the fighting techniques of all the most dangerous animals. Tiger, lion, leopard, snake, crane, mantis, bear, and many others. Unique movement like a Pi Tui Xie Xing combine all this deadly fighting skill into one. If practiced over and over again until it becomes second nature, you will achieve ability to control and defeat any kind of attack from all kinds of opponent and fighting styles. Pi Tui Xie Xing is one of the movement inside the traditional form called Xiao Hong Quan. Xiao Hong Quan is known as the mother of all Shaolin fist forms. Everybody who studies Shaolin Kung Fu know this form, but not many people put a serious effort into understanding it. So they fail to realize that this unique technique is hidden inside. The problem is that when students practice forms, they don't do it with the right target. Xiao Hong Quan is a very special form. It hides many very special techniques that a student can discover if he study and practice very hard. Pi Tui Xie Xing is one of these. Everyone who learned about Shaolin has heard about the secret Shaolin technique called Shaolin Xing Yi Ba. But not many people know what it is. Xing Yi Ba is the highest form of art practiced in Shaolin. Xing Yi Ba is the art of controlling the heart and the mind in the practice of Kung Fu. At this level of Kung Fu, you can see the movement and the technique, but you cannot see the internal, the mind control and understanding when they are combined together by a master of Xing Yi Ba. A single movement becomes unbreakable. Xing Yi Ba has 12 movements. Each movement is called Ba. Every Ba can be called Yi Shi Po Qian Zhao. Pi Tui Xie Xing is one of 12 movements. All of these 12 movements, including Pi Tui Xie Xing, lie hidden in forms like Xiao Hong Quan, Pao Quan, Luo Han Quan, that people practice every day 
without even realizing they have this secret knowledge within their reach. Reaching this top level of Shaolin Kung Fu is very hard and you need to persevere and endure a lot of pain and hardship. But if you can get to the stage when you can use your mind and heart to use the movement in combat and control the situation, then you will have learned real Kung Fu. To gain this kind of Kung Fu, you have to put a real dedication into practice and go through at least three to five years of hard effort. Otherwise, you cannot use this kind of skill in real essential. If this scares you and make you step away to find an easier path, then it is guaranteed that you can never master this technique. In China, there is a saying, in one cool day, we cannot get three feet of ice on a pond. This means nothing valuable or important can be achieved overnight. In Kung Fu, it is possible to pick up some movement quite quickly and give the impression of knowing something or even quite a lot. But this kind of skill is like a thin layer of ice that breaks when you put your weight onto it to develop a real skill that you can rely on and be confident about in actual combat. You need to persevere and show no fear of the hardest training. If you aspire to this level of learning, then begin now and never hesitate in your practice. Pay attention, practice, and gain enlightenment. Now we start to learning the Shaolin unique technique, Yi Shi Po Tian Zhao, the movement that breaks the thousand movement. The first demonstration we will be looking at the technique being used against the left kick. The technique is made up of two parts. First part, to avoid control the opponent. The last bit is take down opponent to the floor. First, the footwork is try to against uh, any kick from left side. For example, left the side kick, Chinese called Chai Tui. So any kick come from left side, we can use the one footwork. When the opponent attack you, you first move your back leg and the slightly back step to absorb the opponent's power. When the opponent kick you, you move your leg back step then front. Back step, then front. Move your back leg, move around to absorb the opponent's power. Don't get hurt. Now we watch carefully about the arm work. The arm work in Chinese we say it is a chan si shou. Chan si shou is like use a piece of the rope. When someone attack you, use a rope. You can wrap around of an opponent, the weapon, the leg, and the arm. You left arm circle like a scoop. And be careful, you have to use your back arm to protect your head. Then. Lock opponent leg. When the opponent attack you, your left arm slightly go down and go round circle. Your right arm straight away go from same as your he head level. Move around to protect your head. Then lock opponent leg. Now we carefully watch in the last bit, take down opponent to the floor. If your arm work is not good enough, then you cannot control the opponent leg. When your arm locked opponent leg, you have to secure and use your 
right fist and right arm. Straight away cross to opponent at the front of the face. Then you go in forward, use your back leg, kick the opponent back leg. This is exact the same as the scissors cut. So your arm chop his upper body and the leg kick his standing leg. Your arm chop his upper body and the leg kick. You have to work together. One opponent kick you, you move your leg back step, then front. Control opponent leg, chop body, and the leg kick. For training purpose, the speed and the power of the kicks is controlled to avoid injury. Now, we talk about the right footwork. Right footwork is used to against the right kick any kind of right kick, for example, front kick or right backspin kick. When the opponent attack you, you first move your back leg and slightly back step to absorb the opponent's power. Use the silk reeling skill to lock the opponent leg and use your back arm to secure your head and lock. You move your left leg, leave the floor, go backwards. Then you use your right foot, spring the floor and straight away lock the opponent leg. When the opponent attack you, you move your front leg slightly Go to the left side. Swap your leg position. Go forwards. Front leg backwards. Swap your leg position. Use the ball of your foot and go forwards. And move your right leg straight away to the opponent as quick as you can. This is an excellent technique used for combat. As a picture as you can see, your arm work, front arm is to silk reeling the opponent leg and arms, and the back arm is to protect your head. You have to practice with your empty hands with the movement we call the silk reeling. So with the empty hands after that you practice with some weights. Then after you practice the footwork and the movement with the opponent together. So that's the way to gain this technique. Block the opponent's fist and use your arm, chop the opponent the chest or head. At the same time, you use the leg to kick the standing leg. So, your arm chop his upper body and the leg kick his standing leg.
use your arm and use your back leg is opposite the power, same as a scissors cut. To take down opponent to the floor, you have to remember when your arm locked upon the leg, you have to secure. Use your back leg, kick the opponent the leg, take down opponent to the floor.
Now we study Shaolin Chinese show, the silk reeling. Take deep breath and calm down your mind and concentrate. This movement is a dangerous movement copied from animals. It's from tiger, lion, leopard, snake, crane, eagle, and mantis. You do the movement from slow and become fast, from higher and go to lower. You have to work together with the breathe in and out and the movement, the three combining one. This is an excellent technique used for combat. As the picture as you can see, the arm work, front arm, is to silk reeling the opponent leg and arms, and the back arm is to protect your head and to secure yourself. To practice the silk reeling, you have two ways. First, is empty hands. Without a weight, the second one you use the weight training to strengthen your arm and improve your skill, make your movement move naturally, as same as animal. Now we practice use the weight training. We use the one the spare. For example, this spare weight is about three kilos. This can improve your silk reeling skill. You feel how to control the opponent's leg and arms. You can stay still to practice. Also, you can use the footwork. And be careful, you have to use your back arm to protect your head. Through the training, you can change the weight from light to heavy. From three kilo become five, become ten, from twenty, thirty, fifty, even more.
used the punch to trick and the forced people to try to. Now you can see punch trick. The opponent used try to to kick you. So then you use Shaolin, the unique technique to control the opponent. Watch carefully. Use your left leg step by step and trick the opponent. Let him kick you. Then, when his leg coming, you use technique. Watch carefully. Use the left leg, trick, kick his knee, and force him raise the knee. When he raises the knee, you quickly use the technique. Control his leg. Watch carefully. Use your fist, first front fist, punch the opponent, and force him use the right leg kick you. Then you use your right footwork, control the opponent's leg. Watch carefully. We use the front leg, step forwards, force the opponent to kick you. Then you use the Pitui Jie Xing, use this unique technique to control the opponent and take him down the floor. Watch carefully. So we use the back bent to it, force the opponent, use try to it to kick us. Then we use the technique to control the opponent. We use the punch to force the opponent kick us. So when the opponent kick you, you quickly use the unique technique to control the opponent's leg and take him down the floor. Watch carefully. We use the back leg, bend to it, trick the opponent. And we repeat again, the opponent will use the try to or dung to intercept us. Then we quickly use the technique, control the opponent's leg. Watch carefully.
We use a punch, trick the opponent, and the opponent will use a deng tui to kick us. Then we use a technique. Watch carefully. We use the bian tui, kick the opponent, and we use again, and slow down the speed, and let the opponent use the try tui, or use the deng tui to kick us. Then, we quickly use the footwork, and use technique to control the opponent's leg. Watch carefully. We use the punch, trick the opponent, let he use the back leg, kick us. Then we quickly use the footwork and the technique. Control the opponent's leg and take down the opponent. Watch carefully. We use the back bian tui, trick the opponent. Then opponent will use the back leg, kick us. Then we quickly use the footwork, backwards, and use the technique, control the opponent's leg. Watch carefully. We use the front punch, punch the opponent, and the opponent will use the leg, kick us. Then we quickly use the footwork and the Shaolin technique, control the opponent's leg. Please watch carefully. We use the try to eat, trick the opponent. And the first opponent use the back leg, kick us. Then we quickly move the footwork and use the technique. Please watch carefully. We use the try to eat, kick the opponent's knee. Then the opponent quickly come back to attack us. Then we use the technique, control the opponent's leg. Please watch carefully. With the bian tui, kick opponent's leg. Then opponent quickly come forward and use the back heel kick, kick us head. Then we quickly use the footwork and technique. Control the opponent's leg. Please watch carefully. 